Renault Capture has an E-Tech plug-in hybrid version. Depending on the driving mode that you select, Pure, MySense or Sport and the driving style that you adopt, the traction battery will discharge naturally and more or less rapidly and will therefore require recharging. This 400 volt traction battery is placed in the floor of your vehicle under the rear bench seat cushion. This means that there is no impact on luggage compartment load space and the modularity of the split rear bench seat is retained. During phases of deceleration, the wheels drive the electric motors. They therefore generate electrical energy which is stored in the traction battery. This energy will then be available for future phases of acceleration. Then the internal combustion engine can help to maintain the battery charge as a generator, even when the vehicle is stationary. It will stop once the traction battery is sufficiently charged. Remember also that the internal combustion engine can drive the vehicle on its own until the traction battery is sufficiently recharged. However, the advantage of the E-Tech plug-in hybrid technology is that it becomes an electric vehicle in day-to-day -day life. You therefore take best advantage of pure mode, which favors all electric driving and which will significantly reduce your petrol consumption. You will go even further by using the MySense mode or the Sport mode if necessary. The traction battery can be charged using two types of lead, the Type A charging lead, the Type B charging lead. Depending on the vehicle, the Type A lead allows charging for regular use through a socket dedicated to the vehicle, for occasional use through a domestic socket, for example, when you are not at home. In all cases, the sockets used must be fitted in accordance with the instructions indicated in the user guide supplied with the Type A charging lead. The Type B charging lead is for a specific wall unit or public terminal allowing the charging of the traction battery for standard use. This charging lead is available from a Renault agent. Take the charging lead out of the vehicle boot. Unlock the vehicle and open the flap located on the right rear wing of new Renault Capture E-Tech plug-in hybrid. This indicator light is on in white. With the vehicle stationary and immobilized and the ignition off, plug the lead into the power supply. Then connect the lead to your vehicle, holding it by the handle. The indicator light flashes yellow. A locking click indicates that the lead is automatically locked to the vehicle. When charging starts, this indicator light flashes blue. At the same time, the instrument panel displays information concerning the energy level on the battery indicator light, the percentage battery charge, an estimate of the remaining charging time from approximately 95%, the charging time is no longer displayed. This light indicates that the vehicle is connected to a power supply. The display on the instrument panel goes off after a few seconds. It reappears on the instrument panel when one of the doors is opened. When charging is finished, this indicator light in the flap lights up green. If it stays lit up in red, contact a Renault agent. You can now disconnect the lead from your vehicle. With the vehicle unlocked, press this switch. A click indicates that the lead is unlocked automatically. Disconnect the lead, gripping it by the handle. You have 30 seconds to do this before it locks again automatically. Close the charging flap and press it down till it locks. You now just need to disconnect the lead from the power supply before putting it back in the boot. Charging can also take place even when it is raining. For even greater flexibility, you can also schedule the charging of your new Renault Capture E-Tech plug-in hybrid with the vehicle stationary and the ignition on. On EasyLink, select the Settings menu, select the Vehicle tab and select the Programming menu where you can configure the different scheduling modes for charging your vehicle. When a schedule is saved, this indicator light appears on the instrument panel. This zone corresponds to immediate charging. The vehicle is connected to a power supply, the charging starts. This zone informs you that the immediate charging function is activated. Pressing Postpone Charging allows you to schedule a charging start time. Press Edit to access the settings for adjusting the charging start time. Set the charging start time, then confirm. Finally, the last option, Program, allows you to save several charging time schedules per week. Press Edit to access the settings. You can set the charging start and end times, as well as the days for which you wish to apply these times. Note that if the start time is the same as the end time, the charging duration will be 24 hours. You will not be able to validate a charging schedule if you do not select a day of the week. 
Finally, you can deactivate one of your save schedules by pressing off. Whatever the option chosen, charging will start if the ignition is switched off, if the vehicle is connected to a power supply with permitted access, and if the assisted parking brake is applied. Recommendations on use Important: Do not use an extension lead, a multiple socket or an adapter to charge your vehicle. Risk of fire Take care with the charging lead. Do not subject it to impacts. Do not pull on it. Do not submerge it in water. In case of extreme outdoor temperatures, it may take several minutes before charging starts. This time is necessary for the traction battery to cool down or warm up. This symbol, lightning flash, is used on all of the electrical components of your vehicle. Any work on this 400 volt electrical circuit must be carried out by a Renault agent. You are now familiar with the main information to best manage the charging of the traction battery on your new Renault Capture E-Tech plug-in hybrid.